Hello, welcome to another Rust tutorial. I uh, just want to start off by saying thank you to all that have supported me recently. Uh, it's as always very much appreciated. Um, sorry I haven't really been putting much content out lately. Um, just been very busy with real life stuff. Hopefully plan on putting a bit more out in the future. Um, if you've got any suggestions on what you'd like to see, uh, please leave in the comments and I'll do my best to produce that content. Okay, uh, made a video a little while back on how to set up a remote controlled SAM turret. Had a few people ask, is it possible to build in a manual override? So what I've decided to do is produce this video and show you how to do that. Okay, so we've already got our SAM turret set up. We've got our power source. A uh, few people have been commenting on saying, why are you using the generator? because it's not in the main game. Well, the main reason is it's an easy, quick power source for demonstration purposes. Obviously, if you're playing the proper game of Rust, you'll have to use solar panels and windmills for now, but the generator hopefully is coming in very soon into Rust, so there you go. Okay, so for this build, we're gonna need an RF receiver, an RF transmitter, a splitter, a memory cell, an electrical branch and a switch. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to place our receiver. Then we're going to place our splitter. You can use the electrical branch if you don't want to use a splitter, but it doesn't really matter which way you do it around. Uh, place our memory cell and now our electrical branch. The switch we'll put up there like so. Now the first thing we need to do is run power to our splitter. Then we need to run power from the splitter down to the receiver. Then the receiver goes power out to the toggle on the memory cell. We need to run a separate power to the memory cell from the splitter as well. And then the output from the memory cell goes into the electrical branch. And the we're going to use the branch out because we can set the power to whatever we want. So we're going to come out of the branch out and we're going to connect up to the power input of the switch. Uh, we're now going to configure this to put out 30. The actual power needed by the SAM turret is 25, I believe. So just set it to 30 will make sure it'll definitely get enough power. Uh, so output of the switch then goes into our SAM turret. Now, I'm going to set our frequencies, just four nines. Right mouse button to set the frequency of the transmitter. Obviously they have to be matching. Okay, the way this works is quite simple. You have to make sure that the switch is always on for the RF transmitter to work. And then just turn it on and off as you would normally. And then if you want to turn it on and off manually without using the transmitter you can just by flicking the switch okay so let's just go through it again so your power source comes out and goes into your splitter the power out from the splitter goes into your RF receiver the power output of the receiver goes into toggle on the memory cell the other power output goes into power your memory cell. The output goes into the electrical branch and the branch out goes into your switch and the output from your switch goes into your SAM turret. Also be sure to configure the electrical branch to output 30 power. You just click E, type in the number and then set. And that's it guys, pretty simple. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.